apparently restarting from the pause menu always works. So, hello driver, today you will take this express commuter service from London St Pancras International to Higham, Strood, Rochester and Faversham. First pick up passengers here and wait for the green signal. Definitely feels like I've said that before. Right, come on, come on, we're all rooting for you. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yes. I believe we have a winner. I believe we have a winner. Right. Here he comes. Groundhog Day comes to mind, yeah. <laughs> is this set correctly? Good, throttle is still set correctly. <laughs> it would be funny if it comes into my platform. No! <laughs> Quite the screenshot I was looking for, but oh well. Don't forget to set up, we're all ready to go. Except for that bit, yep. Now we're all ready to go. <laughs> Isn't King's Cross near here? Yep, it's a stone's throw. Just round the corner. My track IR's working. Matt has the cab update mod. I haven't got any mods on here. Only what's on Steam. Now make your way to Stratford. Be aware that you will have to wait for another service to pass before you can leave here. to wait for another service to pass. I've got a green light. I'm going. That's Stratford. Yeah, I wonder if that was the case. Oops. Oh, I'm missing some follows. I'm missing some follows. Absolute bad form. Kabui uh, 37, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. And Vault Gaming 232, thank you for the follow as uh, as well. And I also missed Jesse Tim. Thank you for the follow, I think. Oh, no, I think I said that. Never mind. Thank you again. <laughs> We're going too slow. Speed up. Right. Background. Oh, I need the 395 background, don't I? Let me fix the background. I seriously need to make this automatic so that I don't. I can. I can just focus on driving the train instead of messing about with all the other things. We have a 395. That looks. Yep. That looks very 395 to me. LeBron 21. Thank you for the follow as well. Much appreciated. Get up to the 40. Don't need it in big HUD. Let's get onto little HUD.
Alright, it's time to gun it. Should make the map look interesting. Going nice and fast. Can you reset my tracker? Well, it's because I'm looking over at my monitor over here. <laughs> now I'm looking at it straight on. This is me looking at the screen. So when I look at chat, it's like that. This is me looking at chat. Uh, Britallica, theatre mode isn't in train simulator, theatre mode is in um, uh, Twitch. And it means that you can have the uh, full, um, you can have a full screen video and you can have a chat on the right hand side. Which is kind of epic. There's a bit of breakage going on here. Don't really need it. I'm not actually doing 200 yet. Stay by the train at Stratford for the first screenshot is the advice. I shall do that. We're coming into Stratford, about a mile and a bit away now. 160 is our limit. Let's even up the speed. Matt don't know the rules of TVM 430. Well, I don't know the rules of any of it. I just guess. Right, slowing down to 100. Right, coming in and we're stopping at uh, Stratford Platform 3. Red light at the end of the platform. This is indicator known as Trois Rouges, for obvious reasons. Given that there are three red indicators on it. Right. And once the train stops, doors open. It says stay by the train, so I'm going to uh, stay by the train. Get out of my screenshot, you slow person. Seriously, it's like a slow procession of slow people. Assuming we're going to get an oncoming train come through. Yep. One 
am I not showing headlights anyway? Thank you. Right. We're ready to go in a moment as soon as we get the uh, indicator. Right, we've just been given a positive indicator. Just waiting for the uh, the red bar to finish. Oh, got a solid 80 now. That means we've got two clear blocks ahead of us. Need to get my laptop a bit closer to the screen again. It seems to have walked down the down the desk. It's a bit better. Like an inch and a half, but I know I'll take it. <coughs> uh, being a Seth reskinning, you use Photoshop for reskinning. Uh, Max is for model making. Now that the Eurostar has passed, you may now proceed to Ebb's fleet. Eighty is our limit. Hundreds are limit because the training front is moving away. Ooh, Joe the fish says new train spotting scenario coming soon. Excited. BNSF. Oh, now we've got the full two twenty two twenty five. Um, BNSF, uh, well any paint program, I mean you can use MS Paint if you want to for reskins, but uh, I'm going to get limited quality. Max is for model making though, which is different. Next signal is going to be at 200. High volts gaming. Were there any more giveaways? Yeah, probably. Probably. Oh, solid solidified at 225 again. We can carry on accelerating. DSD. It's quite cool because if I release the pedal, it immediately starts going exactly the way it should, which is very cool. I do like having a foot pedal for the safety device. Adama, if you're using reskins, unfortunately, I can't uh, run them on the uh, on the channel. So sad, but never mind. Hundred ninety seven KPH. Map's not right tonight. Why might me? Remember, under a tunnel, we're driving under uh, East London at the moment. Coming out of Dagenham in a moment. 
I think at the moment the map is allowed to be uh, wrong, given that uh, it's not a 3D map. <laughs> Right, we'll be on the surface any moment now. Quite a steep grade coming out from the hill there, but uh, we're out. Now we're accelerating back up to the speed limit again. This is the Dag area of Dagenham. We have the windmills over on the right shortly. We haven't already passed them. Well, there they are, look. True in a steam loco. <laughs> You'd never well but have a fit. <laughs> we haven't taken any screenshots. No, that's not the screen the map, the one we want. That's the one we want. Probably slow down a bit now. Don't need to be going that fast. I've got to try and catch up with my train. Let's take a screenshot from the uh, what's this? The A406? No, it's not the A406. It's the M25, isn't it? No, it's not the M25. Don't talk nonsense. It's not the M25. A13 is what I'm word I was looking for. It's the A13. Come. Oh, hello. <laughs> I pressed the B key and the front couple of bars opened. That's it. Shut. <laughs> wow, this thing is really uh, tearing along, isn't it? I don't really need to be going this fast. Slow down. Get in trouble. Right, we're getting advance warning of a speed reduction. There's the M25 and the uh, Kiwi 2 bridge over there. Reduction to 200. One seventy. down to 100 by the next marker. I really need the brakes on quite so much now. Going uphill. 1 in 40 gradient.
Oh, I, da Adam, I rec now I recognise your name. Yes, I was looking at playing some of your scenarios previously, but I noticed they use lots of uh, reskins. Yes, I recognise your... Uh, I recognise the name now. Right, Ipswich International Platform 6. Eighty. Oh, hello. Shush, Mr. DSD. Sixty limit in here. And a uh, red light for Ebsley, but I think we also get this because we are now switching over to um, AWS. We're well early. End of uh, TVM 4.30. Let's get stopped, and then we'll need to switch over to the uh, other current. All right, Master Daniel, thanks for joining us this evening. This is absolutely, we've got the third rail line has appeared now, in fact we're dual powered now, so we can uh, drop the pantograph and switch over to uh, third rail. waiting for the uh, passenger loading time to finish and then we should be able to get on our way. Brakes have gone crazy in the cab. Thank you. I haven't switched power source at all yet. 
Right, it's time to go. If you haven't already changed from the pantograph to third rail shoes, you can find the buttons for this on your left. Okay, so uh, DC, and then pan up, shoes down, and then pan up, shoes down, and we're ready to go. We've got a green light, we've got a green light. Sixty limit. Ease off because it's quite a sharp cut on here. Right, let's get sped up to the 60. We'll get hopefully get boosted to the full speed limit in a minute. And first uh, is we are going via Gravesend Loop. <coughs> We're not stopping at Gravesend. Limit is now 70. We do have a 30 limit coming into Gravesend though. Uh, Binisev, does Digit use 3DS Max for first time painting? No, you don't use 3DS Max for painting. You use, um, you use 3DS Max to do the UV map, but then you use something like Photoshop or Paint.net to actually do the painting. Right, slowing down for the 30. This is Graves End. Continuing on with the 30 limit as we leave Gravesend according to the sign. I like this section with all the tunnels. This is quite interesting to drive through. BNSF, we're going all the way to Rochester, if I remember rightly. Stop, I can't remember where we're stopping. We're not stopping everywhere, though. Uh, picking up at Highham, Strood, Rochester, and Faversham. So, about 55 zero minutes to go, by the looks of it. Speaking of which, I should speed up. Seventy limit. Uh, it should be too late, White Meat. The uh, last two scenarios are only forty-five minutes each, and the final scenario is just to sit and watch it. The 
looking forward to it. It's a rail fanning scenario and having done um, two British rail fannings, train simling, train spotting scenarios, um, it's, uh, I thought it'd be interesting to see an American one. There is a second horn. <laughs> I thought there was. No, I don't need to go faster. I need to go slower. Go by Hugh Junction, Staff Halt. Joe the Fish, no, I don't have a new Rochelle one yet. Where is the Staff Halt? There it is. As long as there's no red lights in front of me, we should be fine. Slowing down a bit. We've got high M coming up. We should be stopping there. Um, Till Films, do you always try a community scenarios? I pretty much mostly run scenarios from Steam Workshop. Um, I run occasionally the career scenarios that come with add-on packs, but um, majority of the time I'm running career scenarios. What's the other towing key? I can't remember. I've wired it up on rail driver, so I just press the up and down on the rail driver. Shift space. Cheers, my old man. Thanks for everything tonight. <coughs> UK Gamer, what will your new blog be about? I don't know what you mean. What new blog's this? B is the om nom nom, yeah. <laughs> I opened it earlier on while doing 225 kilometers an hour. <laughs> it may have had an impact on my uh, uh, aerodynamicness. Prince Stalin says he nebworth high him when he first just, uh, tested it. As you do. Volts Gaming, what can I do for you? Ah, BNSF figured out Google Maps overlay. Superb. Dinoraptor says Windows 10 is amazing. Moggy says he's back with an R-White's lemonade lolly and someone's been helping themselves. I think there needs to be a reckoning. Two minutes early into Hyam. Hey, DJ Marco121. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Oh, we're only a few away from 1600 uh, followers on um, on Twitch. That's awesome. And don't forget, folks, if you haven't signed up for YouTube yet, make sure you go and uh, hit the follow button on or subscribe, whatever it is on YouTube. Um, press that one and. Uh, Let's get us up to 2,000. We're only a stone's throw away from 2,000 on YouTube. Uh, 
Box gaming giveaways, they're pretty much random. I do no more than one giveaway per week. Um, or giveaway day, and then I do uh, some I do multiple giveaways on that day. My favourite route for Germany, America, and UK. Germany would be um, Hamburg, Hanover. America. New York, New Haven, or Donna Pass, UK, um, Weirdale, Western Lines of Scotland, London to Brighton, something like that. London Faversham's also good. BNSF, how long until you pass the station near Dovetail Games? Um, I will let you know when that is. That station is called Chatham, and we're not there yet. Uh, we've got to go over the big bridge first. Do I like Eurostar? Yeah, I like Eurostar. I like fast trains. Same as my son. Oh, my blog's on Scenario Creation UK Gamer. I don't know, I haven't really thought about what the next one is. At some point I need to do the um, the second part of the weather one. Copplopper, is the DTG office modelled in the sim? No, because it's too far away from the track. <laughs> It's a long way from the. Uh, it's two or three miles, at least three miles, I think, away from the uh, from the uh, station. What would be my favourite route on Train Simulator for anything? I don't know. What routes were included in the first Rail Simulator? That'd be Home Pass. It depends, actually, if you want the British release or the American release. Uh, the British release was. All right, we're off. <sighs> it was um, East Coast Mainline, Somerset, Dorset, and Cajon Pass, and then there was an American version, which had um, Cajon uh, Hagen Siegen, sorry, and then the American version had the Cajon Pass. Much to the displeasure of everybody. All right, 15 limit coming up eventually, but we're not for right now, so we're going to speed up. Strewed in two and a half miles. BNSF, are you going to show us how to make custom weather? Um, at some point, yes, that's the idea. I want to do the second part of the weather tutorial. So going through the uh, the bomb hole at the moment. We will be in a moment anyway, sorry. When we, when we come out of the bridge, the tunnel and go into the next tunnel. That's it. Now we're in the bomb hole. Alright, we'll see you in a bit, Ports Gaming. Cheers, Jarrett, thanks for joining. Alright, slowing down for this 15 limit at the end of the tunnel as we go into Strood. BNSF, why did you choose to work for DTG? Because I love playing games, I love trains, and I love train games. Where else would I want to work? <laughs> Fifteen, just as you exit the tunnel. Fifteen. 
<laughs> Got a proper mail would rather work at Microsoft for MSTS. That'd be for Aces, yeah? <laughs> BNSF, hey, they're probably the only train related company that will buy you, let you drive trains. You're probably right. <laughs> Metallica, yes, they did render the Russian submarine. We shall see it as we go over Rochester Bridge. <laughs> Two and a half minutes early for here. to his rail says no 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 <laughs> MSTS2 was done twice um, the first time by Kuju um, then that project was cancelled and then ACES did MSTS2 internally as part of ESP which is the underlying engine for Flight Sim X so ESP version 1 essentially was FSX ESP2 was going to be MSTS2 and ESP3 was actually going to be a driving game Dum -de dum -de dum twiddle thumbs. Take a screenshot. Let's take a screenshot. That's what we need to do right now. At Strood. I keep thinking of Strudel every time I go through Strood, and it makes me want more Strudel. I haven't had Strudel in years. Nice fruits of the forest Strudel with custard. Oh yes. Boggy, as Matt passes over Rochester Bridge, look right and you'll see the DTG towers. No, left. Morton, can you please explain to me why and when I should use the loco brakes instead of the train brakes? If you are a light loco and you have no train, you should use the loco brakes. If you are a hauling a train, then you should use the train brakes to stop to activate the train the brakes across the entire of the train. Almost time to go. Shush, DSD. We're not moving. Cheers, Matthew Tim Man. Thanks for joining. Fifteen limit, and then as we come up the hill, we get to a twenty. So we've got Rochester Cathedral in front of us, Rochester Castle on the right. About to go over the Rochester Bridge, over the River Medway.
Someone was asking about a submarine, Britallica, I think it was. There's the submarine, that's the Russian sub that beached there. Uh, BNSF combining routes is very difficult. Uh, definitely not for the, uh, not for newcomers. It requires a lot of surgery internal of vials. Coming into Rochester, which we'll be making a stop at. Uh, KS, K4S 1361, I'm afraid I can't talk about anything which hasn't been announced on Engine Driver, I'm afraid. So, yeah, get your new, if you can get your news from Engine Driver and Facebook, um, yeah, I'm not allowed to talk about things that aren't, aren't announced for obvious reasons. Right, pulling into Rochester. Of course, in reality, Rochester Station is actually being moved. Right, let's get stopped. Joe the fish? I can't talk about TS2 either. <laughs> Would anyone like to ask me a question I can't answer? <laughs> what rule did I break? What rule have I broken now? What do I have for dinner? Pizza. That I can answer. Followed by an ice lolly. A calipo. Oh, I love calipos. Now it is non stop to Faversham. Still in a 30 limit for the time being. Yes, but the preview of it was on the official channel, French Starlin. I think you can probably bet that I've been given permission to do something for the company when the com when I'm doing it for the company. <laughs> it's uh, it's all Moggy's fault. Don't don't go for me about being a lolly addict. It's all Moggy's fault. Uh, UK gamer, I am allowed to say I am working on the next train simulator, and I can't say anything else. <laughs> Lolly's Anonymous, there you go. Right, we're going via Chatham, so for those who are wondering which is the nearest station to Dovetail Games, please uh, depart here for Dovetail Games. However, we're not stopping here, so it's probably going to be a bumpy exit of the train. Ever did a stream for the class 105? I did. Um, the uh, on the official stream, the 105 was actually used on the Weirdale stream. Uh, I have driven the 105 on this stream as well. Uh, 
it's Flight Sim Steam Edition by DTG. Well, it's by Microsoft. I mean, it's still Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, but Dovetail have made a few changes and patches and improvements to make it work better on current systems and make it work better with Steam, I believe is the uh, official word. How many man hours are put into a new train sim? I wouldn't even want to guess that later at that. A lot. Like, ridiculous lot. Oh, 50 limit. Coming through Gillingham, which is my local station. Hey, Elton Loveridge, how does one add reskins to the marketplace? You need to email partners at dovetailgames.com. Um, send them details about what you're trying to do, screenshots if you've got them, and then they will uh, they will talk to you about what they can do for you. Morton, why do some people call it train sim and others call it railworks? Because was it, when it was originally released, it was called Rail Simulator. Then it was changed its name to Railworks, and it was Railworks, then Railworks 2, Railworks 3, Train Sim 2012, Train Sim 2013, Train Sim 2014, and Train Sim 2015. So it was Railworks for three versions. Gillingham, we are not stopping. We are expressed to Faversham at this point. This is my local station. This will be my local level crossing. There's a signal box, and I'm normally the car standing at the front going... <laughs> How did Mole Man get to your house? I went and picked him up. Used one of them car type things. Couple of about. Since when do I work for DTG? Since three and a bit years ago. Is Priestfield modelled? I don't know. I don't think that's far, that's too close enough, is it? There it is. There's Priestfield. I guess. UK Gamer, um, no, uh, I started out as the head of third party, so I was, uh, I helped publish add-ons like uh, Western Lines of Scotland and um, Canadian Mountain Passes, um, the VR143 was my first add-on that I published for Virtual Railroads. Going through Raynham. Nebworth Raynham, well it didn't say I had to stop there, so I didn't. Yep, Raynham was a go via.
Right. Getting there. Newington. Through Raynham. Won't be long for in Sittingbourne. Sheppy's coming up shortly, the turn off for the uh, the route to she Isla Sheppy. Red Ryan, do I ever leave the UK on holiday or something? Um, yeah, well my wife's American, so we usually end up going to America. Went to Tennessee last year to see the uh, the, far the, the, the in-laws. Awesome time that was. Really enjoyed that. I do like it over there. Devil Dragon plays MC1026. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Made me overspeed. <laughs> I'm blaming you anyway. No, BNSF, I can't talk about it uh, the sales data, I'm afraid. Crossing. We'll back up to an 80 in a moment. Moggy's hopefully off to Chicago next year. Oh, fantastic. Couple of would like a drive by. I haven't got any guns in this one, though. Emergency brakes have just come on. You did that deliberately, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, I can just flick it, can't I? Yeah, I can. I don't have to wait for it to finish, I can just get going. <coughs> Great dog, um <laughs> You ain't doing live in the US Chicago. Whilst it's good over here, no doubt after a decade or so it starts to lose its charm. I think no matter where you go it always start it always starts to be the case, doesn't it? You sort of wanna be uh, at home. Right, we're accelerating again. Finch Starling's going to Miami this December. Superb. <laughs> Kevin C's going to say, You're always trying to, trying to make me bad, aren't you? You're always just trying to make me mad. <laughs> well, jealous, that's the word. Last time when I went to America, we went to, uh, like I say, we went to Tennessee. I saw my first American trains. I was very happy with that. Right, that's the junction for the Isle of Sheppey. I believe we had a special request for stopping at Sittingbourne, so I'm going to stop at Sittingbourne. Apparently Sitting Bourne is a request stop. I had a request to stop at Sitting Bourne, so I'm going to stop at Sitting Bourne.
Well, it's the Isle of Sheppey. It's where the Sheerness branch goes. I'm not opening the doors. You can get thrown out the coupler hatch at the front. Where's the front? There it is. Right, fringe, get out. Alright, it's time to go. Fringe clinging to the back of the train, train surfing. <laughs> 80 limit, Tenham in 2.8 miles. Go on, Stephen Jam. What have you not? What have you done that I've never done? Stephen Jam stabbed himself in the face with a frozen granola bar. That's an interesting thing to do. I guess if you're bored enough, that's probably fun. Right, let's try and do a flyby without extra added AWS mess ups. Actually, there's a there's a level crossing. Have I ever been to Perth, Australia? No, I've been to Sydney and Mel Melbourne? Yeah, Melbourne. Uh, and I've been to New Zealand. Um, Wellington. But I haven't been to... Uh, I haven't been to Perth. Aha! Uh, Morton, no, I'm not going into Riyadh, I'm afraid. So we're not stopping at Tenham. How much farther? Uh, four miles, according to this. Faversham is the uh, the place to be. Oh, we have a request for a passenger view from uh, Tubble. Absolutely. What's going on here then? That's the old Rousem website. Biggies, cup of tea. Anything going on there? No? Behind? Oop, that's a bit empty. Mm. Anyway. 
Back in the cab. What was your first American train we saw? Uh, I think they were SD40s. They were um, um, like a Class 3 railroad. Uh, most of what we saw when we were there actually was Norfolk Southern because uh, they're the biggest, the main operator in Knoxville. But I think the first one was a, uh, I think it was a pair of SD40s. Blue ones. I don't remember what their operator was. Shush. Warning of the 75, but I'm accelerating, so... One point five miles. In fact, this is the uh, double yellow. Sixty. That's that one. Smacky button greatness. Slowing down for the 15. Which appeared a little bit before the sign did, never mind. <coughs> this station is Faversham. End the button abuse. No, begin the button abuse. A fresh, brand new, reinvigorated button abuse. Shush. Right, so that scenario was Faversham Express, and that's by Fringe Stalin. Thank you, Fringe Stalin. Um, the city, the sitting boarding and um, Kelmsley Light Railway is uh, at Sittingbourne, Deadly Dorito. Next we are going to Trent Valley. We're going to do part two of the stock move scenario. We did part one on... Uh, that's the one we want. We did part one uh, last week uh, when we did the uh, special on the Trent Valley line. Uh, we're going to do part two tonight. Congratulations, South Eastern will be glad to hear this service round with no problems. Now take a much deserved... I think I should take a much deserved rest. I think I should. That was hard work. Good scenario for installing. Thank you. Favisham Express. Get that one from Steam Workshop. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> 